I got the plague, but we out here. I fueled up on liberal tears and I'm feeling stronger than ever. Happy New Year. We're starting off strong with the conservatee. Lori Laughlin hired a coach to teach her how to survive jail. The Golden Globes goes vegan and Apollo 13 director Ron Howard accuses Trump of hustling the United States. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplitics. Fuller House actress Lori Laughlin is facing a maximum 45-year jail sentence for her role in the college admission scandal. You're in big trouble, mister. And this woman is taking Hollywood stereotypes to a whole new level. She allegedly hired a jail expert to coach her on clink lingo and even martial arts techniques to give the impression she's tough and to ward off bullies. Is her coach Prison Mike? The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They, were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they come down and they suck the soul out of your body and it height. Dement Dementors like in Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. The Golden Globes is serving an entirely vegan menu to guests Sunday night. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association said yesterday that they want to send a signal and draw attention to the issues of climate change. Unfortunately, HFPA didn't have a comment as to whether or not Uber SUVs will be dropping off and picking up literally every single person attending the event. Get them, Greta. How dare you? If there's only 12 years left, the last thing I'm going to eat is roasted sunflower and willow tree essence. Bring me crates full of chicken nuggets. I know how to party. Yeah, you got the yum, the yum, the yum. And Academy Award winning director Ron Howard, who's known for films like Apollo 13, Beautiful Mind, and Da Vinci Code, slammed President Trump as a self-serving, dishonest, morally bankrupt egomaniac who doesn't care about anything or anyone but his fame and bank account. Fact check, President Trump donates his entire presidential salary every year to charity. True. President Trump has lost over a billion dollars in net worth since leaving his businesses and running for president. True. Ron Howard is a mega wealthy, mega famous Hollywood A-lister who no doubt knew about Harvey Weinstein's sexual misconduct for years and only came out against him after he was caught and it was safe to do so. True. Ron Howard, you used to pal around with Donald Trump before he was president until hating him became trendy. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Why not come down from your high chair and stand up for something that's actually morally bankrupt, like I don't know, taking millions from communist China for your films? That is wow. Wow. We're back Monday for our first full week of the new year. I've already gotten a lot of messages from you guys saying that your new year's resolution is to get brave and more vocal about being conservative and that you're wanting to make more conservative friends. Look, the best place to get started in that is the Cute Servitus private Facebook group that I started for fans of politics. Everyone is vetted and conservative and loves pop culture. You don't have to worry about being doxxed or getting trolled. All you have to do is answer the security questions and join the Cute Servitus fam. It's pop culture without the propaganda. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Don't forget to subscribe to Turning Point USA's YouTube channel and ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss an episode.